What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, sorry it's been a little bit since we posted a video. There hasn't really been much going on. But today I do plan on doing like a full service and changing of the fluids on the car. So we're going to be changing gear oil. We're going to be changing the engine oil, uh, cleaning air filter. Uh, we have a billet math housing on the way, spark plugs, and clean uh, injectors. So uh, just a, a full service, kind of stay on top of things. Since the car is running an aftermarket turbo system, I want to take care of it and make sure it lasts as long as possible. So we're kind of babying it around and changing fluids prematurely, but I want this thing to last. It's a daily driver. So uh, yeah, uh, we'll just get to that and hope you guys enjoy the video. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. Alright guys, so as you saw, we picked up the new MAF, or it got delivered, whatever. Um, it is an aluminum, billet aluminum, uh, MRP performance MAF housing, 3 inch outer diameter, 2.75 inner diameter. Uh, this is our VR6 MAF that we were using. It is a 3 inch on the back side, 3.25 on the front side, and then 2.75 all the way through. Um, a little bit bigger on the front and a little bit smaller on the back that kind of taper down this one is same way uh, right at 70 millimeters at the front and then just a little bit under 70 millimeters on the back i'm not too sure why they taper down but that's just how they are um, this one's like 71 and 70 on the back and uh, i didn't really measure this one this one is just oem math just to show you guys the size difference so as you guys can see we went from this little guy to the big guy, and then this big guy to this equally big guy. Um, this one is just a lot taller, doesn't have a screen on the front like this guy here. Um, and I assume the screen is our restriction or our variable that we are getting rid of to obstruct airflow and cause 
some different readings than uh, were tuned for with this guy. So C2 Motorsports, when they did this tune, uh, they said that they used a straight through tube style math like this and not anything like this. And this would be the proper one to get the max horsepower out of your car rather than this one. Um, just because there are so many different crevices to cause turbulence around the edge, around in the screen. Um, and then there's also a screen in the back if you guys can see that shiny stuff, uh, the shiny stuff back there. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about anyway. Um, we're just going to throw it on the car and see if the car goes faster. All right, guys. So we went ahead and threw everything back together. Uh, I YOLO'd and threw on the Velocity stack along with its little filter cloth thing, um, which happens to just be a orbital buffer cloth pad, whatever polishing pad thing. Um, it works. As you guys can see, there's some discoloration on the front, so that is showing that it is catching something in the front there. Um, and it is elastic on the back side as well as safety wired so it won't get sucked up and go straight into the turbo and ruin everything. Um, so yeah, that is all set up. This is how it looks. I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, nice piece. Uh, because it is longer, it actually bought me some room with the wire to the MAF sensor. Uh, we were sitting about two inches back with the plug last time and this wire was actually fully extended and putting a little bit of stress on it so now it is more than enough room there and yeah i'm pretty happy with how it looks uh it has a nice clean look to it i wish i had some better couplers to connect it those ones are trash those are just some AutoZone spectra um or specter whatever the frick um couplers that they don't like heat so they'll start to melt and they do weird things so anyway uh, that is it. I am going to call it for tonight. Uh, we did a lot and I'm pretty happy with how everything came out. Hopefully this new math sensor uh, thing works out really well and gives us some more power. We'd love some more power in this car. Um, but if not, at least it looks cool. And I'm going to go ahead and unplug the battery uh, and let this car sit overnight and do kind of like a hard reset on everything. And then uh, we can go ahead and take it out for a drive tomorrow and we'll see how everything works.